Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and today we're going to look at adding sort columns to our gallery like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a icon for the sort. Um, so to do this, we'll go to the add button on the left nav. And what we'll do here is just search sort. Um, the icon's already here. So we'll take it, drag it, drop it on the form. And of course it's very large, so we'll just decrease the size. Um, in this case, I'll use 20 by 20. And I'll change around the name. This is best practice, of course. So we'll say it's sort name. And then we'll just bring it down below here. Okay, so the first sort column is going to be beside the name. And if we click on it, what we will want to do is um, go to the on select function. And we're going to set something called a new variable called set sort direction. So to do that, we will say sort direction. And what we will say here is if the sort direction equals, um, in this case, we'll say descending, then we'll say we'll sort by ascending. And if it's not, we'll sort by descending. Okay. So this way, if the user selects this button, it will sort by either ascending or descending, depending on what the current value is. And the next thing that we want to do is actually define what this column is. Since we're going to be sorting by multiple columns, we want to say that this is going to be, um, you know, sort name or something like that. So we're going to say the sort column at this point is sort name. And then we'll close this. So we just need two variables to handle the sort here. So if we go open this up, press it, nothing happens at this point. The reason why is we have to update the gallery here to use these uh, variables. So if I go to here and click on the gallery, right now it's just our account list. So what we will need to do is add columns and we're going to add columns for our sort name. So we're going to say it's sort name and we're going to reference the account name column that we currently have and we want to sort by. So to do that, um, what we will do is just search account name. And then we will close it. Okay. So right now, nothing will happen because we just added a column called sort name. Okay. So to actually sort by the column, we will add the function sort by columns. And then we're going to say, here's our sort, sorry, sort column, and then sort direction. So if we go and press play now, you will see that it now sorts. Now, we want this to sort on another column. So let's say we want to add this to city. So it's very simple to do because we've already set up where we only require two variables to uh, control the sort. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it beside city and we'll say it's sort city. And the only change we have to make here is the sort column. So this allows us that flexibility to use this code across multiple columns. Um, I've done it up to probably about like 10 columns because uh, users like their sort features. But if you were to press play on this, uh, one thing you'll notice is it'll just go blank because there's no column called sort city. Okay. So what we will do is go here and we will add another column, sort city, and it will reference address one city. So we'll add that in there. Of 
course it got rid of the rest of my uh, function. So we're going to add sort column and sort direction. Okay, so now if we um, run the app, we still have the ability to sort by the name. That's perfect. And then here, if we sort by city, you'll see that sort as well. So it allows us that flexibility to easily sort across numerous columns, either direction uh, with a couple of variables. Uh, the only thing is, is of course, if you have a lot of columns um, that are being sorted, your items list will get a bit long, but um, overall it's pretty simple to manage. So hopefully this video gets you on your way to add sorting to your galleries and just make it easier for users to you know, look up their data.